Hey guys, what's up? Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Composi desktop effects. Uh, in order to use this application in Linux, you have to have a decent, uh, high quality video card that supports like 3D graphics cards and everything. So, mine is one of the latest NVIDIA GeForce cards. So, um, in my video, well, not really the latest but I'm using the NVIDIA GeForce 9300 okay so on my laptop so let's go ahead and get started in order to use this you have to go to your uh, add and remove applications and if you haven't gotten that you can go to Ubuntu Software Center I think you can get it in there as well but I've always downloaded it in the add and remove so we're gonna go and add and remove and uh, if you go in here and type in compose c o m p i z and there it is first one advanced desktop effects settings and it'll say configure composite with com composite config and it'll show the stars that how popular it is check mark it install it and go with it okay put your password in and such like that and then once you got that installed yeah you'll see like explosive stuff and all that those are my settings and then you go to and you'll notice it is un installed under pref system preferences composite configuration settings manager you click that it'll pop up and when you come in here like I've enabled the advanced zoom desktop which what might be already installed for you uh, or check marked sorry like X in there so um, in the use that you just hold the Windows key on my laptop is what I'm using the Windows key and I'm just using I'm roll scrolling the mouse on my uh, mouse so I'm going to zoom in here so you guys can read this stuff and when I scroll down here you want to look for animations it should be already turned on if not check mar or check it and then over here you'll notice animations add-on this is for the burning effect the uh, the explosive everything so if you're looking for the burning stuff you're gonna find it in this video so it's right here Anima uh, animations add-on you check it okay you click in here and it'll let you design or let you mess around and configure with your settings for this like the airplane effect everything like that and what I do is I go to the go back here I think it's yeah in animations I go back here and for my opening I set burning okay the 200 duration beam up at 150 and then the fade which I think I left that as the default 150 okay that's what I set because you'll see more of them right here and you just add what you want to add in there and uh, once you got that, uh, you go to your next one. See, I put as when I close this right here, it will explode. Pretty cool, huh? And you can do other ones. Like I said down here, there's random effects down here. On my minimize, I have random. So watch when I minimize this. Go zoom, goes down, and uh, I can reopen that back up. See, it, each time it's different goes down up yep random uh, shade yeah, I left that the same I don't think you can change that oh yeah you can change it to fold and right down here focus uh, nothing and then yeah I just kept all that the same all I did was change my opening close and minimize and basically when you got all that set up you'll start noticing when you uh, close out of here see it exploded so yeah, go ahead and like mess around with it. See it flames up. Pretty cool, huh? And then close. There you go. The wobbly windows. Uh, if you notice that and you don't know how to get that, there should be a setting in here for wobbly windows. You scroll down and look for it. There it is. Wobbly windows. Check it. Okay. It's right here. It's under effects. So scroll down to the effects and get wobbly window. Paint fire, you click this and I will close it and then you can write. So 
Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Uh, I think it's shift. Yep, shift in the Windows key. And then drag your, click your mouse and drag. And then the clear is shift, Windows key, C. And it goes away. Pretty cool, huh? And I mean, that's all. it's all eye candy, but to me, I think it's pretty cool effects. And it really shows you the true true performance in your video card and it definitely amazes your friends and your family members so uh, that's how you get that to do all that so um, comment rate subscribe if you have any questions need any help let me know um, I made this video so you guys could understand how to get your composite settings configured the way you want and uh, yeah just let me know what's up uh, thanks guys, appreciate it. Thanks for watching.